Today we're going to discuss calibrating the Multi-Ray Plus. In front of me I have the Multi-Ray Plus in its yellow rubber boot with a water trap assembly applied. Uh, one thing I would like to discuss um, prior to getting into the calibration is something you can find on the page 5 of the user manual. So I'm going to pull that page in. Uh, calibrating the monitor. It says, while our instruments are calibrated prior to leaving the factory, temperature extremes and or shocks during shipment can cause sensor drift. Um, therefore, the accuracy for newly purchased ray system monitors should be tested or, by exposing the sensors to a known concentration of calibration gas. That's what we're going to be doing today. Um, when should the, you calibrate the monitor? The monitor should be calibrated no less than 30 days or if it does not pass a fresh air reading or if it does not pass a field verification or what we call a bump test. Um, at that point, you should calibrate it. It is recommended that you bump test prior to every use. Um, the sensors are calibrated in a two-step process using fresh air and span gas. Um, a span gas contains a known concentration of a given gas. Some sensors may show sensitivity to other gases. This is called cross-sensitivity. Uh, therefore, it's important to choose a gas mixture carefully. Uh, at this point, we are using um, a cylinder of gas which has hydrogen sulfide, carbon monoxide, methane, oxygen with a balanced nitrogen. So it's got 25 ppm H2S, 50 ppm CO, 50% LEL methane, and 12% oxygen. So it's very important on your multi-ray that you configure that to those gas readings. Uh, so that way when you do a, multi -sen a multiple sensor calibration, it's setting it to the known concentration in the cylinder. So to get started, uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to remove the water trap assembly, set that aside. I'm going to take the unit out of its rubber boot, set that aside. And we're going to prep our cylinders of gas so that way they're ready to go when we get it uh, to make sure that they're ready to be hooked up prior to us getting into the calibration mode. So at this point you have two options that Ray Systems offers. <coughs> You have a, a 0.5 liter per minute re uh, flow regulator, which will be indicated on a sticker that should be on your regulator as shown here. The flow rate, 0 0.5 liter per minute, which is what Ray Systems uh, states that matches the flow of what their internal pump is. Or you have a demand flow regulator, which will only open and flow based upon what is demanded out of it from the pump. So it basically matches the flow of the pump. That is what uh, is recommended that, that is used if it is there. So at this point, I'm going to hook that demand flow regulator up to the multi-gas cylinder that I have shown. And there's also isobutylene for the PID. This is a five gas instrument that has um, combustible oxygen, CO, H2S, and it has a PID lamp in uh, for total VOCs. So we're isobutylene, 100 ppm is recommended to calibrate that PID sensor. <laughs> 